हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ टू जीन्स ओके दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इट वॉज परफॉर्म बाय ग्रैगवार मैंडल ओके एंड ही स्टडीड द इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ टू कैरेक्टर्स इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर where i discussed about inheritance of single gene in that uh, experiment mandel only studied one character at one time although he has selected the seven characters but in each experiment only one character was considered but in this experiment dihybridization experiment he studied the inheritance of two characters okay in this experiment he considered two characters for example shape of the seeds and color of the seeds in pea plant the se the seed shape it is round and wrinkled and round seeds they are always associated with yellow color while wrinkled sheets they are associated with green color clear then he performed the experiment the pattern of experiment is the same as it was in mono hybridization experiment clear firstly he selected the true breeds okay round yellow seeds and wrinkled green seeds for more clarity you can open your book at page number 79 yes your standard um, biology book by ncert here you can see figure 5.7 and it is labeled as results of dihybrid cross okay so uh, firstly observe this picture round and yellow seeds they are denoted by um, capital r capital r for round and for yellow capital y capital y okay for wrinkled and green seeds it is denoted by small r small r and small y small y clear now the first step in mendel's experiment was cross okay so what will be the gametes of capital r capital r and capital y capital y the gametes will be capital r and capital y because gametes contain only half of the alleles clear in a wrinkled green seeds what will be the gametes it will be small r small y so f1 generation in f1 generation we have capital r small r capital y small y okay what was the result of uh, mono hybrid cross when mandel crossed the true breeds in f1 generation all the plants they were phenotypically similar to dominant parent okay in this case the dominant parent it is plant with round seeds and yellow seed color so all the plants in f1 generation they have round seeds and yellow color okay clear what was the next step of mendel's mono hybridization experiment what was yes it was selfing okay all the f1 generation they were self fertilized or self pollinated firstly draw a punnett square okay and write the gametes on two adjacent sides of the square what will be the gametes on one side it will be capital r capital y small r capital y capital r small y and small r small y okay same gametes they will be at the adjacent side of square clear now try to multiply 
these gametes. Firstly, capital R and capital Y with capital R and capital Y. Then, capital R, capital Y with small r, capital Y. Then, again, capital R, capital Y with capital R and small y. Then, capital R, capital Y with small r, small y. Repeat this multiplication for all of the gametes. Okay? What will be the result? It will be 9 is 2, 3 is 2, 3 is 2, 1. Okay? 9, it will be round and yellow. 3 would be round and green. Again, 3, wrinkled and yellow. And 1 will be wrinkled and green. Clear? Students, don't be afraid of this experiment. However, it is seeming a bit difficult, but it is just similar to monohybridization cross. Okay? How it is, I will explain. Okay? Mandel found that three-fourths of F2 plants, they had yellow seeds and one-fourth had green seeds. Clear? We will take only one character. So, what will be the ratio of yellow and green seeds? Exactly, it will be 3 is to 1, just like monohybrid cross. Similarly, you will do for the seed shape. Okay, round seeds, they wear 3 fourth. Okay, and wrinkled seeds, they wear 1 is to 1 of fourth. Okay, so the ratio will be 3 is to 1. One, just like monohybrid cross. Clear? So, what Mandel concluded? He concluded that, that these two characters, they are independent. Okay? Presence of some other character will not interfere with the ratio. Okay? Still, the ratio will be same. That is 3 is to 1. From the observation of dihybrid cross, Mandel formulated the law of independent assortment. Okay? This law, it states, when two pairs of traits, or you can say characters, are combined in a hybrid, segregation of one pair of trait or character, it is independent of other pair of character or traits. Clear? Means inheritance of one character, it is absolutely independent of another character. Okay, students, thank you for listening to my lecture. With this, I have completed Mandel's second uh, experiment that is dihybridization cross. Okay, if you have any question or any query, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetcore.com.